Project Skyline and today we're going to be installing this beautiful SPL Hikus Elimination Kit. The car already has an aftermarket kit on it, but it's got a little bit of slop in it, so we're going to be upgrading to this masterpiece from SPL Parts. This car already happened to have a Hikus Elimination Kit on it from when I imported it from Japan. So it may be a little bit different for you guys if you're installing a completely OEM setup. You're going to be removing the actuator for the Hikus as well as looping a line and blocking off a couple other lines. So make sure you read the instructions if you're doing that because there's going to be a few steps that vary for you guys. Obviously you guys are most likely going to have to remove the knuckle to press the bushings in and out. Um, that's something that we have the tools to allow us to do that with that on the car. But it does make things a little bit more complicated so you will see some extra steps here or some steps that may not apply to you. After removing the bushing, you may need to sand the knuckle to clear off any rough edges or burrs. Then we remove the old aftermarket Hikus kit, which had some slop in the toe arms. Freezing the new SPL bushings and using antices can help ease the installation process. As always, make sure the bushings start straight as they are pressed in. First, we install the subframe brackets for the new Hikus kit. Leave it loose until the spherical bearing on the toe arm is in the right place. Make sure you mock up and adjust the toe arm length before installation and mind the noted thread parameters in the instructions. We like to put the nuts facing outwards so that we can use registration marks to verify that the alignment doesn't change if we go off track or anything like that. We just take a paint pen, make a solid mark that's really visible. That way, if anything does happen, we can just duck under the car real quick, check to verify that nothing moved and nothing got knocked out of alignment. Once the Hikus kit is installed, be sure to tighten everything down, torque both toe arm bolts to 35 foot-pounds, and torque the subframe bracket to 60 foot-pounds. And there you have it. Final step is to check the alignment. Once you set the toe, you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching and make sure you guys hit subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos coming your way on Project Skyline.